chronic symptoms must be retrained. Now, when I say chronic symptoms, I'm referring to these strange symptoms that you're having, the weird pain in your body that moves around that you can't really pinpoint where it's coming from or why it's there or what causes it. It just mysteriously comes up. Maybe it's in your leg one day. Maybe it's in your upper body. Maybe it's in your head. Maybe you have this weird burning sensation that you know comes and goes throughout the day. And when it comes to these chronic symptoms, a lot of times we'll go to these doctors and specialists and neurologists, endocrinologists, and uh, even psychologists, and they'll tell you, you know, sorry, we can't tell you what the pain's coming from. Your blood tests have come back fine. Your scans have come back fine. X-rays, CAT scans, your urine tests, your hormone tests, everything is within normal ranges. And if I had a dollar for every time I was told that, then I'd have a lot of money by now. But when it comes to retraining these chronic symptoms, you have to understand the concept of neuroplasticity. Neuroplasticity is the ability of the brain to form and reorganize synaptic connections in response to learning or experience or following an injury. Now, the definition of chronic is persisting for a long period of time or consistently recurring, often contrasted with acute. Now, there's a difference between chronic symptoms and acute symptoms. Acute symptoms are the ones that come and go. You know, you stub your toe on a table and it hurts for about a minute and then it's gone. Chronic symptoms are things that linger around. They never really go away. They're very debilitating. They stick with you throughout the day. And the beauty of neuroplasticity, and scientists have found this out in the recent years, is that you can actually retrain your brain. They've understood that chronic symptoms and chronic pain especially are just areas in your brain where the pain centers are highly active or overactive more than normal. Those areas in your brain that have become overactive, you can also train them to become regularly active. And you can lower the amount of activity in the areas of those brains, but it's going to take a lot of consistent effort. Most people just give up when they're trying to do the brain new training because they don't see results right away. You have to understand that the brain is going to take the path of least resistance. So if that has become the new normal, if your brain is running on autopilot and constantly triggering symptoms and pain and things like that, then it's going to take a lot for you to undo that knot in your brain and rewire it. There's gonna be lots of consistency needed, a lot of effort needed, and a lot of focus on retraining the brain. You just have to open your mind to the possibility that you can even have a normal life again. Granted, this message is for people who have gone to several doctors and several specialists, and they can't find an answer to why they're feeling the symptoms they're feeling. A clear, definite, solid, black and white answer. So most people stay stuck or they feel like giving up but what they have to understand is that 